Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the commencement exercise for the class of 2023 of Downingtown High School West. We ask you for your help and cooperation in making this the most memorable day for our young people. Please refrain from any actions or activities that would distract from this very formal and dignified ceremony. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we ask that you please remain in the stands until the class has recessed out of Cottmeyer State. Any individual feeling the effects of heat or the air quality and needs assistance should exit the stadium through the bleacher tunnel at the 50 yard line on the home side. Due to construction on campus, we invite graduates and their families and friends to gather outside the main entrance of the school near the flagpole for pictures. We thank you for your presence this evening and enjoy the ceremony.
You may be seated. All right, good evening, and welcome to the 142nd annual commencement ceremonies of the Downingtown Area School District and our 20th graduation as Downingtown West High School. Absolutely. I would like to acknowledge our superintendent, Dr. Robert O'Donnell, board of school directors, district administration, faculty, staff, and all the family members who are celebrating our seniors here this evening. Today, we joyfully recognize the culmination of their hard work and perseverance, and we are thankful for the opportunity to celebrate the class of 2023 with all of you today. And finally, I welcome you, the class of 2023. Let me begin our celebration by welcoming our first student commencement speaker. He has played West soccer for four years and ran track for two years. He is a proud member of both the South Asian Student Alliance and Student Council and has taken 10 AP courses and nine honors courses. In the fall, he will be attending Penn State University. There, he'll be working towards his goal of attaining a law degree and becoming a district attorney with the hopes of helping his community. Please join me in welcoming Velavan Shomogasantram. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Velavan Shomogasantram, and I feel absolutely terrible for Dr. Barker who had to announce that. But welcome to the class of 2023 graduation. This has been 13 years in the making. I would like to thank the parents, faculty, and students who have made the last four years possible. Without them, we would not be here today celebrating such an incredible occasion. I would like to begin by telling a story, a story of our graduating class. Our story started 13 years ago in 2011 as we took our first steps into the unknowns of the education system. Think back to those first steps. Think back to the first classrooms we sat in, the first teachers we had, the first friends we made. There was no stress, no homework, no jobs, nothing but silly bands playing wall ball during recess, we're trying to learn how to play the recorder and failing miserably. The glory days. But the story persists as we all moved on from elementary school to the Marsh Creek sixth grade center. As the class of 2023 became narwhals, we began to get a taste of responsibility and stress. And with these new stresses came fidget spinners and for reasons I will never understand, slime. But what a time to be alive. Then on to Downingtown Middle School, where we spent too much money on Fortnite and Vine turned into Musical.ly. Meanwhile, we prepared for the real deal, high school. When high school began, crushes became serious, homework became something that actually needed to be done, and TikTok stole hours of our lives. But here's the thing with the class of 2023. As things got harder, we helped each other. And things got harder, very quickly. When COVID-19 left the class of 2023 with nothing but Zoom, we persevered. After we slept through Zoom calls, FaceTimed our friends during class, and sat silently as our teachers awkwardly asked questions to muted boxes, we persevered. All jokes aside, Downingtown West took incredible steps to triumph through COVID, such as performing two plays, one called Asylum, one called Future Transmissions, 
fielding our many, many West athletes, and much, much more. We as a class and as a school persevered. The last four years have not been easy, but we did it together. We failed together, we succeeded together, we hurt together, and we had fun together. This story has brought us here, our final classrooms, final teachers, and final steps in a school district that has given us so much. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. MLK urged us to take a leap of faith, to take those first steps, and we did. We took that first step, then we took another and another until we found ourselves here at the top of the staircase, looking out at the rest of our lives. But the thing is, we're not really at the top of the staircase. We're just on one landing, looking up at the next flight. Today marks the beginning of a new story, a story where each of us takes steps into the unknown just as we did 13 years ago. And as I stare out into the crowd of future lawyers, electricians, teachers, plumbers, and barbers, I am not worried. I am not worried because I know that I'm part of the class of 2023 and we are nothing if not determined and united. I have no idea what the next 13 years has in store for this class, but I will gladly take those steps into the unknown because I know that you are all doing it with me. Class of 2023, thank you for the last 13 years. Thank you for the next 13 years. And congratulations, we did it. For more than 125 years, the Downingtown Area High School Alumni Association has dedicated itself to supporting the high schools of the Downingtown Area School District. Please join me in welcoming Vice President Angela Baer as she awards a current graduate with the Alumni Association Scholarship. Good evening. My name is Angela Baer, and I am a Downingtown Area School District teacher, parent, and the Vice President of the Alumni Association. I would like to congratulate all of the graduates in the class of 2023 and wish you well in your future endeavors. After receiving your diploma tonight, you will officially become Downingtown alumni. Information about the Alumni Association and how to join is included in the graduation packet that you will receive later this evening. So what does the Alumni Association actually do? The Downingtown Area Alumni Association is recognized as one of the oldest active alumni associations in the nation, as it was founded in 1884. We sponsor your homecoming events, the Battle of the Brandy Line, which is our East versus West football game. And this year, we are bringing back the Downingtown Alumni Hall of Fame, which was on hold for a few years due to COVID. We are currently accepting nominations for the Hall of Fame through our website. We also give a scholarship to a graduate at each of the three high schools, totaling $7,500. Students submit applications which are then blinded and sent to the Alumni Association without student identification available to the committee. The scholarship committee is made of alumni who are not DASD employees nor current DASD parents. They review applications and then select a recipient without knowing the student's identity. Now I have the privilege of revealing that identity to all of you. This year's scholarship recipient maintains a high GPA, and participates in numerous activities such as NHS, the Special Olympics, and the Black Student Union, just to name a few. He's the captain of the boys basketball team and the boys track and field team, and he plans to continue track and field at High Point University next year. It is my honor to present the Downingtown Area Alumni Association Scholarship to your class vice president, Kelly Bell. Thank you, Mrs. Bear, and thank you to the Alumni Association for continuing your support of our students here at Downingtown West High School. And now, I am so thankful for the opportunity to introduce our senior class principal, Dr. Bell.
Good evening. It's hard to follow that one. But. Good evening. Tonight I am speaking to you as an administrator, a parent, and the senior class principal. As I retire, it is bittersweet to leave the district that I have loved. I am grateful that I have had the opportunity to be, to be an administrator in the Downingtown Area School District since 1999. I would like to thank the board, the team at Central Office, and the West staff for working with me and providing me with experiences that have helped me grow professionally and have made me a better administrator and a better person. As a parent, I am very grateful for the top-notch education that my children receive from the school district and the relationships that they made with friends, teachers, and administrators. I can proudly say that my children are on the right track due to the impact of teachers, counselors, coaches, and administrators from Brandywine Wallace, the sixth grade center, Downingtown Middle School, and Downingtown West. I am grateful that my children have become successful, resilient, and focused citizens. I recognize the class of 2023 as having the same qualities and following a similar path. I have known many of you since you were in elementary school. It has been fun to watch you grow into young men and women. Thank you for making me smile as, we, as you greeted me in the hallway, even with just a simple hello. You have brought me joy as, I've, as I have watched you perform on stage. You have amazed me with your beautiful artwork. Your efforts to master a trade at TCHS have showed me your dedication and determination. I have loved watching you on the track, the court, and the field. Pen relays, state games, and district matches were a thrill. Thank you for sharing special events like prom, pep rallies, and football games with me. There's nothing like being smushed in the student section with a thousand screaming teenagers or drinking a Patty Temple with 450 sharply dressed seniors at prom. Thank you for stressing me out when you did not have your graduation project presented or you were sent to the office for cutting class. Thank you for making me laugh with your silly excuses as to why you were late or why you could not turn your camera on or why you thought it was okay to throw food in the cafeteria. Thank you for making me cry with your generosity and for helping others less fortunate. Your compassion on the bocce court and at Special Olympics was touching. As you leave West and start your next journey, I hope my voice resonates in your head with the following advice. Be grateful for all that you have. Say please and thank you. Put your phone down and enjoy your surroundings. Work hard no matter what you are doing. Help others. Tell your parents that you love them. Be kind, make good choices. And lastly, remember where you came from. Once a whippet, always a whippet. I too will remember where I came from as I look back onto my 36 years in education. I am grateful to the Downingtown community for the memories and the lifelong friendships. I'm excited to start my new journey and can't wait to see where our paths lead us. Congratulations, class of 2023. All right. Well, before we go any further in the ceremony, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Bell. Uh, thank you for your 24 years of service to our Downingtown community. Over her career, she has positively impacted thousands of students and staff members. Her commitment to our students has been unwavering. And Patty, I am so thankful that you are able to share this evening with your final senior class. Congratulations, and we wish you well in your retirement. And now, I'd like to give special recognition to our Golden Anniversary alumni from the class of 1973. There we go. 
As we take a stroll down memory lane, listening to the music of Aerosmith, Marvin Gaye, Elton John, and yes, class of 73, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for investing in our school, our community, and our future. You proudly represent Downingtown and your commitment to this community both reminds us of our tradition of excellence and serves as an example for our graduates today. Thank you for being here this evening to show your support for the newest members of the Downingtown Alumni Association. Please stand and be recognized when I call your name. Agata Polini Butler. <laughs> Diane Eileen Dirk Chrysler. Rose Mascherino Charlone. John Haas. Sandra Fry Ann Fry Haas. Cynthia A. Hamilton. Claire Schuler Orsi. Terry Williams Ingram. Roger Willem Ira the second. Raymond Kipp. Darlene Cummins Columban. Cindy Suleski Lyman. Lucia Manetta. James A. McGuggan Jr. Patricia Mento, Gary Obendorfer, Patricia McGuggan Payne, Alan R. Popjoy Jr., Luann Ross, Lamont Wilkerson, and Alexis Ziobro. Thank you for joining us this evening. Welcome home. I'm now pleased to recognize one of our DASD faculty members who served as a fourth grade teacher at Bradford Heights and is receiving the Tradition of Excellence Award honoring her 35 years of service to the Downingtown Area School District. Please join me in recognizing Ms. Dorothy Graham. Dorothy, if you can stand up. Very good. After honoring our alumni of 50 years, and our faculty and staff who've served for 35 years, I am pleased to recognize those members of the graduating class of 2023 who are beginning their service to our country by joining one of our armed forces following graduation. Graduates, please stand when I call your name and remain standing until all names have been read. I'll ask the audience to please hold your applause until all names have been read. Chase Baker, Army National Guard, Shippensburg University. Dylan Blair, United States Military Academy, West Point. Nicholas Bornizel, Army, ROTC, Penn State University. Emerson Brandt. Air Force, Luke Kasner, Air Force, Michael Cope, Air Force, Juan Lopez, Navy, Wyatt Thur, Marines, Elliot Trimble, Army, Brennan Whelan, Air Force, ROTC, Virginia Tech. Congratulations. Before you take your seat, I would like to invite anyone in attendance who is currently serving or has previously served in any one of the U.S. military branches to please stand and be recognized with our students here this evening.
Thank you. Thank you for your service, and you may be seated. Last year, we began a new tradition, a tradition of recognizing our students who are committed to serving their community by pursuing further education through a trade school or apprenticeship. For anyone who has contemplated a home renovation, needed to update their HVAC, or simply fix a leaky faucet, you're likely aware of the fact that a good, still skilled tradesman can be hard to find. However, thanks to these young men and women being recognized today, the future is looking a little brighter. Graduates, please stand when I call your name and remain standing until all names have been read. I'll ask the audience to again please hold your applause until all names have been read. James Bassan, Brooke Saratelli, Katerina Curtis, Benjamin Dirks, Jay Fairweather, Ryan Haney, Charlie Hendricks, Aiden Henriksen, Aldo Juarez, Molly Lobb, Nicole McCarraher, Jackson Nololinsky, Evan Paez, Tegan Richmond, Joseph Riley, Hunter Robertshaw, Silas Russell, and Dominic Verano. Thank you, and well done. You may be seated. At this time, I'll invite Mr. Falconio to come up and begin our academic recognitions. My name is Jason Falconio, and I'm pleased to have the opportunity to recognize our seniors who are graduating with honors. These students have earned a GPA of 4.0 or higher, maintaining an A average throughout their high school career. The following students have excelled in their academics and have earned the cum laude designation with a GPA between 4.0 and 4.19. Please stand when your name is called and hold your applause until the end. Henry Alwine, Daniel Bailey, Alexander Baden, Dylan Blair, Josephine Bradley, Nadia Conklin, Jack Cowan, Haley Coyle, Benjamin Dirks, Sydney Dostalik, Catherine Dockerty, Quinlan Dowds, Carly Etter, Alec Fejikov, Evan Fletcher, Alyssa Freeman, Ryan Gallagher, Bryn Garrity, Ryan Giovanoni, Carter Greer, Curtis Grunwell, Catherine Hanks. Lily Henning, Aiden Hollenbeck, Chloe Ifrig, Ava Jerome, Noel John Bosco, Emily Jones, Sarah Jones, Elena Claypack, Christian Kurzina, Caitlin Lagore, Hoke Young Lee, Hoke Young Lee, Matthew Lohr, Emily Maloney, Julia Marasco, Caitlin Meenan, Robert Middock, Peyton Mize, Zachary Maurer, Sarah Murphy, Kelly O'Connor, Rohan Patel, Brooke Petrol, Arjun Reddy, Nolan Roos, Ava Reitmeyer, Molly Rosenswag, Jacob Samsel, Kylie Schmidt, Nikki Marie Schreier, Lauren Scott, Nicholas Scott, Kylie Seckinger, Liam Shannon, 
Riley Shirk, Ava Smith, Hope Smith, Jessica Valley, Justin Vasquez, Gaetano Valari, Summer Vosberg, Evan Watkins, and Aiden Williamson. Well done. You may be seated. Thank you. Good evening. This next group of students has earned honors demonstrating academic excellence by achieving the magna cum laude designation with a GPA between 4.20 and 4.39. Students, please stand as I call your name. Please hold all applause until all names have been called. Thomas Ash, Alexandra Bellato, Thomas Bixler, Morgan Boyce, Abigail Bradley, Gianna Catanese, Isabella DePaul, Thomas Fetterman, Sarah Hallahan, Jessica Harker, Madeline Harkins, Sumera Khaled, Caitlin Claypack, Chris Ling, Willem Myers, Benjamin Wynn, Jessica Wynn, Michael O'Loughlin, Pranjal Panda, Ashley Plasic, Justin Roth, Dominic Sano, Riley Smith, Isabella Terra, Logan Tincher, and Grace Trabolski. Congratulations. have demonstrated superior performance in their academics and have earned the summa cum laude designation with a GPA of 4.4 or higher. These students rep represent approximately the top 3% of this year's class. Please stand when I call your name and please hold your applause till the end. Ratchet Bajpai, Matthew Beebe, Niobe Chang, Alexis Coleman, Ryan Combs, Isabella Ewing, Samantha Ewing, Max Finnegan, Peyton Forsyth, Graham Friedman, Cy Kothapali, Anna Larson, Leo Schoen, Ohm Taylor, Ilsa von Heimberg, Alexander Wong, Lillian Wirtz, Zakina Zaidi. Congratulations, students. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our second student commencement speaker. She has served as both the, as both the president of the National Honor Society and National Spanish Honor Society. She has taken 14 AP classes and is an active member of our hype club and academic team. In the fall, she plans to attend the University of St. Andrews, pursuing an honors degree in international relations in the hope of advancing the field of global diplomacy. Please welcome Alexis Coleman. Thank you, Dr. Bell. Good evening, distinguished faculty members, honored guests, proud parents and friends, and of course, my fellow graduates. Today, we celebrate the culmination of 13 years of hard work. And despite every obstacle in our way, we've made it. Congratulations. On behalf of the class of 2023, I'd like to thank our faculty members who have been a constant source of guidance, and all of our friends and family who have stood by us, supported us, and encouraged us. Four years ago, Walking into Downingtown West, 
I believed that I needed, needed to be miserable to succeed, that I needed to drown myself in work in order to achieve my goals. But misery is not a prerequisite for success, and success does not guarantee happiness. I lived for so long telling myself that I'll be happy when this happens, or when that happens. I'll be happy when summer finally comes, or when I do well on my exams. But happiness is not something that must be earned, and it is not a reward you have to work towards your entire life. You are all entitled to live a life you love that's full of joy, and you have the ability to create, change, and live the life you desire. And if you're serious about changing your life, you'll find a way. As a class, we have made countless memories together. Many good, and some, but most of which we can look back on and smile. From the first football game, to the second, to watching us finally beat the East. From attending school in our bedrooms, to the nerves and excitement of finally coming back. From freshman year, sitting awkwardly at pep rallies, to watching some of our best friends dance their hearts out at Mr. West. From feeling the relief of committing to the next chapter of our lives, to sitting here and realizing that yes, this is real. Even though we're all here together now, we will each be carving our own paths as soon as we leave. I want to remind all of you that our movements have not always meant progress. We have not earned our diplomas by just existing within our comfort zones. Over the last four years, we have been devastated by a pandemic and rejoice because almost none of us have had to take a final. We've made and lost friendships each year. We've watched TikTok challenges turn into bathroom vandalism. We've watched each other slip on the ice on the walk to school and be consistently late to class because all the parking spots were taken. But most importantly, we've learned what it means to have resilience in the face of personal challenges. As you graduate today, and weigh your excitement and doubts, I urge you all to try and create the world you want to live in. Each and every one of you has a story to tell, and you are the only person who can write that story. I hope you all know you are worthy of your wildest dreams, and know that was not meant to be a Taylor Swift reference. You will never know how often the smallest gestures can make the biggest difference. We often underestimate the power of a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, or even the smallest act of compassion, all of which have the power to turn someone's life around. I'd like to give a final personal thank you to Dana Clay. Mrs. Clay, you invested your time and kindness in a young girl who felt like the whole world was against her. You've taught me that sometimes things fall apart so better things can come together. And you've taught me to go into the future pursuing generosity because every person is valuable and worthy of kindness. I would like you all to think of your person or people who have played a pivotal role in your life. Who has shaped you positively into the person you are today? And then ask yourself, do they know? Do they know what they've done for you? Because time goes by so fast so don't lose the opportunity to tell them. And don't lose sight of what you've done for yourselves. Every achievement matters, no matter how significant or insignificant it may appear to others. If there's one lesson I've learned here, it's to live a life that if it ended today and you had the chance to live it again in the exact same way you would. I would once again like to congratulate our entire class of 2023 as we move forward in life, whether that's off to trade school, a university, the military, a career, or simply wherever the wind takes you. The future is now yours. Wherever you go and whatever you do, may we always be friends when we meet again. Thank you. Now, please welcome our choir.
it said that people come into our lives for a reason bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return well i don't know if i believe that's true but i know i'm who i am today because i knew you changed for good.
All right, well, they're having their seats. Let's give them one more round of applause. We live in a remarkable era. The advances made in technology, particularly in the realm of communication, have afforded us the ability to connect with almost anyone, anywhere, anytime. These advances have, in many ways, removed boundaries and opened opportunities for collaboration, information exchange, and social interaction like never before. However, as our reliance on technology continues to grow, so do the concerns that surround it. Social media, mobile devices, and the internet have absorbed a significant portion of our daily lives. And we find ourselves spending more time looking at screens and less time engaging with those closest to us. As a result, I believe we've reached a crucial tipping point where we need to reassess our relationship with technology and make conscious efforts to reprioritize the personal connections that ultimately define our humanity. We must preserve our ability to meaningfully connect with one another. The paragraph I just read was completely generated by artificial intelligence. <laughs> Using the chat GPT functionality available to everyone uh, with access to Google, and I'm pretty sure that's about everyone. Before November, most of us had almost no idea the capabilities and the powerful impact AI would have on our lives. Yet here we are. But this isn't a speech about AI. It is a speech about making choices. Intentional choices to meaningfully prioritize relationships and interpersonal interactions. So here we go. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. I want you to take a moment to reflect on your best days here at West. Who were you with? How did you feel? What were you doing? I'm hopeful that you felt happy, that you were with friends, and that you were laughing and enjoying time together. I'm going to guess that none of you were thinking about a time where you were sitting alone, staring at your phone, scrolling through TikTok. That's because you crave human interaction. We all do. We need that interpersonal connection with one another. Think of all the ways you connected with each other this year. From the opening day excitement of walking in the West as seniors, to packing into the bleachers for home football games, and then the homecoming dance. Talk about being packed. Pretty sure we had over 1,600 here that night. You waited in the lobby together, rather than going home before band practice. You spent extra time in the gym together, pushing each other to compete. You spent countless hours rehearsing and refining lines for the musical and plays. You formed new clubs like Dungeons and & Dragons and eSports Gaming. You, you ran across the gym to hug and congratulate a friend at the Living Art Show. You shared your compassion for those in need by supporting both local and international charities and experienced the positive impact your care and generosity had on the lives of someone else. These personal interactions made a difference in the lives of those around you your classmates, your teachers, and your family. Those are the memories that will stick with you. Tonight is also one of those memories, and I'm hopeful that you're able to soak up every bit of this graduation experience with your friends and family. From walking out of Wagner Gym together for the last time, to parading down Campbell Drive, and entering the packed stadium, this is something that you only get to do once. So take it in. I began this speech with a paragraph generated by AI because I wanted to make a point. Writing speeches takes a lot of effort. At least it does for me. 
But that portion only took about 15 seconds. By making that choice, I was able to save time. That was time that I could use for interacting with others. It's a tiny example, albeit minimal impact, but it helped me to frame my perspective. We must intentionally focus on those around us and prioritize personal interactions, particularly as the potential for digital distraction increases. My hope for each of you is that you will use these tools to create time in your life for meaningful interactions with the ones that you love. Make sure you soak up those moments together. I don't want you to miss an opportunity to make a new memory. So don't forget to pause, be fully present, notice those who surround you, and be grateful for the moment that you are in. Let's go out and make some more memories. Class of 2023, thank you. Thank you for the memories that you have given us. Thank you for this memory that we are making together right now. I'm proud of you, proud of what you have accomplished, and proud to have served as your principal. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2023. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, would those who are assisting with the presentation of diplomas and the reading of names please take your places? Okay, I think everybody's ready, here we go. It is my pleasure and honor to begin by reading the names of our senior class officers and commencement speakers. Kelly James, Patrick Bell. <laughs> Alexis, Kara Coleman. Angelo Donato Fasciolo. <laughs> Curtis Way Grunwell. <laughs> Alexis Bales Hollinger. <laughs> Sophia Robin Kenworthy. <laughs> Lauren Cecilia Scott. Velovan Shomagasantharam. <laughs> Ilsa Caroline von Heimberg. <laughs> and Sakina Fatima Zaidi. Sarah Noel Murphy. Jack Lowell Johnson. Annika May Dickerson. Nasia Imani McMillan.
Robert Emery Mitzuk. Zachary Edward O'Neill. Quinton T. Zaleski. John Anthony Riggs. Nicholas Charles Scott. Cecilia Albina LaJoy. Usman Ahmed Abdullah. Joseph Matthew Lagore. Dominic Acuna. Caitlin Christine Lagore. Gianni Acuna. Rohan Lockenpaul. Giovanni Antonio Acuna. Kyle Joseph Landis. Holden Scott Adams. <laughs> Taryn Elizabeth Lang. Alexander James Aday. Anna Victoria Larson. Senna Winston Agudu. Ethan Nicholas Latzer. Kareem Ahmed. Joshua Joseph Lochner. Ahmed Al Azam. Shane Charles Lear. <laughs> Brett Eric Alansky. Book Young Lee. Lilianis Marie Aldea Vargas. Book Young Lee. Kayla Alley. Colin Damon Leeper. John Henry Allwine. Tyler Robert Levin. Emily Olivia Alvarez. Chris Ling. Adam Amba. Kayla Marie Littlefield. Andrew Charles Armani. Andrew Vincent Latwinko. Thomas Joseph Ash. <laughs> Braden Livingston. <laughs> Toby Madison Allcamp. Molly Jean Lobb. Isabella Jane Bear. Matthew Richard Lore. Daniel Scott Bailey. Juan Felipe Lopez. Ratchet Badge Pie. Emma Isabel Maybe. Chase Donald Baker. Aiden Maurice Mack. Anna Lee Baldwin. Francis Thomas Magnata. Colin Bannister. Elizabeth Lynn Mahmood. Ian Michael Barneskis. Catherine Lee Mahmood. John William Baroni. Emily Claire Maloney. Jacqueline Juliet Barton. Grace Manley. Alana Emerald Bates. Brady Dylan Manning. Brooke Alexis Bauer. Julia Elizabeth Marasco. Alexander Baden. Jada Sol Marcus. Annalie Grace Beaver. Sierra Lynn Margetich. Matthew Nicholas Beebe. Brooke Anna Mae Markley. Jasmine Bello Jimenez. Lucas Marquez. Brett Robert Berge. Alyssa Lynn Martin. Chase Norman Bernard. Sydney Grace Martin. John Samuel Biddle. Tyler Joseph Maslanka. Alexandra Daniela Bilotto. Sharon Elizabeth Maxwell. Frederick Delano Jason Bivin Sadler V. Nicole Autumn McCarraher. 
Thomas Michael Bixler. Madison Rose McColl. Dylan Joseph Blair. Morgan Elizabeth McColl. Eric Max Blanky. Alyssa Marie McDonald. Reese James Blanky. Arden Caroline Mackerland. James Robert Bassong. Anastasia Grace McGettigan. Marshall Luther Bosworth. Jack Martin McGovern. Nicholas John Bornazel. Jasper Daniel McHugh. Madeline Brielle Bowen. James McVicker III. Morgan Teresa Boyce. Caitlin Marie Meenan. Andrew Joseph Boyer. Julian Michael Mejas. Abigail Patricia Bradley. Mavica Riley Mendez. Josephine Nicole Bradley. Jonathan Hambrun Minier. Emerson Elizabeth Brandt. Benjamin J. M. Megzer. Celia Rose Breslin. Sheik Mirsav Milhan. Katrina Marie Brown. Joshua David Miller. Jack Calvert Brunner. Kaylin Isabella Minche. Noah Robert Bryan. Peyton Elizabeth Mize. Patrick William Buckite. Graham Patrick Monroe. Colton David Pashavalano. Anastasia Leland Montgomery. Campbell Elizabeth Calvi. Zachary Michael Maurer. Connor Christian Calvi. Carly Renee Mullen. Abigail Nicole Campbell. Allegra Victoria Muller. Christian Carmine Capone. Aiden Patrick Mulliken. Liam Joseph Arthur Caravello. John Andrew Mulville. Luke Truman Kasner. Hannah Lee Murphy. Gianna Catanese. Robert Joseph Murphy III. Francisco Antonio Cerda. <laughs> Willem Robert Myers. Brooke Alexis Saratelli. Jackson Valentine Nawalinski. Colin Scott Chamberlain. Emmett Pearson No. Naomi Ray Ann Chang. Benjamin Wen. Marco Cave Shagini. James Fook Wynn. Angelina Elizabeth Chikoski Darlington. Jessica Quinnon Wynn. Andrew McKee Keaty. Mary Jane Grace Nicholson. Jason Claudio. <laughs> Hannah Ashlyn Niemeyer. Madison Paige Clemens. Ryan McCall Note. Laura Elise Cochran. Kelly Jinclair O'Connor. Ryan Emmanuel Cohen. Michael Cletus O'Loughlin. Ethan David Colbert. Liam McGuire O'Neill. Ryan William Combs. Owen Shane O'Neill. Nadia Sura Conklin. Alexandra Vladimirovna Ovadova. Caitlin Connors. Daniel Patrick Owens. Jack Edison Cowan. Ronish Patty. Haley Marie Coyle. Evan Ryan Paez. Jamie Amanda Crossan. Edward Walter Palmer III. Georgina Rachel Cruz Estrada. Cronjaw Panda. 
Fanola Evelyn Cummins. Caleb Jackson Pate. Katerina Julia Curtis. Emma M. Patel. Claire Catherine Zapp. Rohan Katon Patel. Peter Gregory Daglas. Alexander Edward Paul. Emily Elaine D'Agostino. Monica Valeria Perez Roman. Spencer Philip D'Arcangelo. Brooke Kalon Petrel. Austin Paul Diemer. Kyle Robert Phillips. Raymond James Denon. Dante Joseph Pacone. Isabella Reese DePaul. Samantha Joe Pincus. Hallie Antoinette D'Eduardo. Ashley Catherine Plazek. Benjamin Stephen Dirks. Jared Mark Provencher. Kira Lynn Dieter. Juliette Marie Provost. Jillian Paris Duraco. Dylan Ramley. Matthew Alfredo Donian. Jude Tag Ross. Kevin Nicholas Dorr. Nicholas Pierce Reagan. Sydney Lynn Dostalik. Arjun Ram Reddy. Eliza Jane Dotson. Joseph William Riley Jr. Catherine Elaine Dockerty. Jonathan David Reese. Quinlan Finnegan Dowds. Bridget Mara Renahan. Dalton Thomas Downey. Nolan Jacob Roos. Arush Durga Virgila. Isabella Rose Ricardo. Isaac Thomas Durkin. Evan John Richards. Cameron Diane Eady. Ava Lynn Richardson. Alexander Blake Eli. Tekin Shai Richmond. Bryn Jameson Ennis. Ava James Breitmeyer. Carly Ann Helen Etter. Patrick Edward Riley V. Eric David Evans. Sophia Stella Risbin. Isabella Grace Ewing. Destiny M. Rivers. Samantha Dorothy Ewing. Hunter Thomas Robertshaw. Jackson Catherine Fairweather. Taylor Jessica Roshan. Isabella Eve Marie Feathers. Lily Bell Rock. Alec Robert Fedjikov. Luca Thomas Rodia. Victor Andreas Feliciano Cardona. Ethan James Rodriguez. Leah Isabel Fenical. Samantha Catherine Root. Brady Luke Faris. Gianni Lynn Lopez. Thomas John Fetterman. Molly Jane Rosenzweig. Max Stephen Finnegan. Justin William Roth. Evan Henry Fletcher. Silas Emmanuel Russell. Tiffany Formica. Sophia May Ryan. Peyton Nicole Forsyth. Kaylin Jade Sadowski. Mia Elena Folks. Anthony Jacob Sajace. Zachary Lauren Fox. Jacob D. Samsel. Alyssa Madeline Freeman. Sean Matthew Sanders. Graham Davis Friedman. Dominic Savatone Sano. Sydney Bennett Friedman. Roma Amor Santiago. Maya Love Fear. D. 
David Scott Satterfield. Ellie Lynn Gallerno. Julian Joseph Schell. Ryan Patrick Gallagher. Juliana Noel Schell. Daniel Garcia. Kylie Marie Schmidt. Ryan Jeffrey Gardner. Thomas Joseph Schmidt. Cooper James Garner. Alyssa Marie Schmoyer. Domino Annette Garazzo. Leo Philip Schoen. Bryn Riley Garrity. Nikki Marie Munling Schreier. Michael David Geffer. Courtney Jane Scott. Olivia Christina Ginsberg. Jacob Lancer Seaman. Ryan James Giovanoni. Kylie Laura Seconder. Julia Elizabeth Golden. Joella May Cease. Luna Christine Gonzalez Martinez. Michael Thomas Seda. Donald Eugene Goodwin IV. Lauren Cressy Schaefer. Brendan Sean Gordon. Liam Douglas Shannon. Alexandra Esther Gorman. Riley Elizabeth Shirk. Pierce Anthony Gracia. Gabrielle Jarris Siegel. Carter Lee Greer. Matthew Timothy Singer. Emily Ann Greer. Jashawn Preet Singh. Dominic Romeo Grisales. Corey Menashe Sithel. Adam Richard Greist. Chase Anthony Slay. Molly Faye Grolke. Ava Marie Smith. Isabella Francis Guineri. Hope Elise Smith. Christian Lamone Gunter. Riley May Smith. Aaron Guo. Sydney Paige Smith. Mason Kelly Hale. Hanlon Grace Boogling Son. Sarah Elizabeth Hallahan. Matias Alejandro Sosa. Michael Dewar Hancock Jr. Erica Joy Spears. Brian Donald Haney. Dylan Raymond Stang. Catherine Anna Hanks. Drew Ryan Stefanski. Jessica Lynn Harker. Kenna M. Steinman. Madeline Isabel Harkins. Ooh. Leah Marie Straccolini. Owen Christopher Harris. Anthony Douglas Strickland. Sean Tavone Hera Harris. Logan Patrick Strauch. Abigail Jade Hartzell. Joseph Anthony Suarez. Carson Nicholas Hawthorne. Pranav Sundar. Futaba Hayashi. Prithiv Sundar. Harrison Philip Hayford. Ethan John Supley. Riley Megan Hearn. Om Sonnet Taylor. Chloe Nicole Heron. Enrique Tapia Silvano. Connor Michael A. Bear. Gianna Rose Taraski. <laughs> Emily Marie Heimberger. Miles Anthony Tarquinio. Matthew T. Helvetson. Jack Robert Taylor. Charles Hendricks. Isabella Grace Tara. Lily Ann Henning. Wyatt Andrew Thur. Yanelli N. Henriquez. Logan Matthew Tincher. 
Cameron Lynn Henry. Thais Ariana Torres Mercado. Juliet Summer Henson. Skylar Loveland Trapnell. Lacey Ann Lockledge Her. Daniel Adam Thomas Trago. Cole Robert Hickman. Grace Emmeline Trabolski. <laughs> Aliyah Amira Amin Hightower. Elliot Reagan Trimble. Lanaya Ronair Hines. Jessica Aaron Valley. Aiden David Henriksen. John Christopher Valvardi. Remy John Hawkhouse. Evan James Van Brunt. Elijah Spencer Wendell Hortling Beislein. Dominic Joseph Verano. Aiden Richard Hollenbeck. Justin Paul Vasquez. Murphy Becker Holloran. Thomas Jeffrey Venzi. Michael Joshua Honig. Gaetano Kareem Meyer Valari. Aubrey Lyndon Hopnagel. Summer May Vosberg. Charles Francis Hugo. Lily Sarah Vancur. Omar Ibrahim. Brian Michael Wadsworth. Chloe Alexandra Ifrig. Gabriella Marie Wagner. Zachary Maximus Ismail. Shauna Marie Wagner. Ava May Jerome. Alexander Zhusheng Wong. Autumn Jade Jernigan. Riley Warner. Noel Bernard John Bosco. Evan Reese Watkins. Amari Mackay Johnson. Lane Avery Weiser. Anuk Elise Johnson. Darby Elizabeth Weller. Jada Marie Johnson. Brennan Michael Whalen. Emily Quinn Jones. Benjamin White. Sarah Michael Jones. Sarah Elizabeth Wiggins. Rajas Rahul Joshi. Jacob Allen Wilbraham. Dylan Michael Joyce. Aiden Joseph Williamson. Aldo Juarez. Michael Andrew Wing. Anastasia Eftahia Karadimus. Christina Marie Carroll. Phoebe Katz. Matthew Kenneth Woodward. Matthew Joseph Keller. Emma Louise Kerr. Chase Rogers Worth. Samara Sabia Khaled. Jennifer Elise Kiefel. Lillian Mackenzie Wirtz. Danielle Renee Kiesel. Bridget Claire Key. Vishnu Dutt Kakiri. Brianna Amiri Yarbre. Hayden Conway Kimani. Joshua William Kimmel. Lita Marguerite Yates. Elena Joy Claypack. Caitlin Faith Claypack. Peyton Elizabeth Yoder. Michael Anthony Cook. Caitlin Michelle Conchel. Cooper Gray Young. Cy Kothapali. David Joseph Kalb. Andrew Zolad. Grayson Edward Kovach. Nolan Alexander Kuhn. Jackson McLeod Zerlin. Christian Anthony Krizina.
All right, well done, guys. Very good. Let's give all our graduates one more round of applause. Well done up there. At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. O'Donnell to please join me on stage. Dr. Donald, I present to you the Downingtown West High School Class of 2023. As principal, I certify that with the diplomas awarded today, this class has completed all the statutory requirements for successful completion of high school in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. If you would, please confer graduation on these 457 seniors. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Barker. And hello, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you uh, on this beautiful evening. And although I wouldn't characterize uh, the Smoky Haze from Canada as beautiful, uh, I, I do characterize celebrating 457 wonderful graduates in your families uh, as a beautiful evening. So I'm, I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be serving the school district and be part of the community. Before conferring the diplomas, I'd like to offer my sincere and heartfelt congratulations the class of 2023. As you transition beyond high school, know that the past 13 years have helped you to develop not only the knowledge and skills, but also the strength and resilience to face whatever challenges come your way. However, you're going to have to make some tough decisions, decisions that you may not be prepared to make. Remember, each of you has a team of supporters in your corner. And many, if not all of them, are here with us tonight. Please take a moment and look around. And guess what? Your parents and guardians have been in your seat and have had to make tough decisions. And that was back in the day when they were pretty cool, just like you. And because of what they've been through, they possess something known as wisdom. Moreover, there's no one in this world who wants you to be more successful and happier than the people supporting you in this stadium tonight. So when you find yourself in a tough spot and you're not quite sure what to do next, reach out to them. And a text message isn't going to cut it. Pick up the phone and have a conversation. Life is complex, and the people here tonight are going to support you through that tough stuff. I hope that you have appreciated your time being part of our school district because we've loved having you. Now, without further ado, will all the graduates please rise. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the Downingtown Board of School Directors in accordance with the Pennsylvania School Code, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Department of Education, I hereby confer the academic degrees declaring the class of 2023 as graduates of Downingtown High School West Campus. Graduates, you may now turn your tassel. Congratulations. Please be seated. stretch. Our last speaker is the recipient of the Downingtown West English Department's Creative Writing Award. She was a member of this year's homecoming court and is an active member of student council. In the fall, she will be attending Shenandoah Conservatory to pursue her Bachelor of Fine Arts and Dance. Please join me in welcoming Sophia Kenworthy. Hello, 
everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my parents, teachers, administrators, academic advisors, and most importantly, all of you. We are about to become a part of each other's past, and I am so grateful that you are in all in mine. We did it. And not only did we complete our years of schooling with patience and unity, I would like to think we had a pretty good time doing it. Concluding our time at Downingtown West is such a surreal feeling, like being a Whippet is all we've ever known. But we were narwhals and lancers before we were Whippets, and I cannot wait to see which irrelevant animals go on to represent us next. <laughs> there are more mascots and memories to come. There is something special about the class of 2023. I believe it is our ability to adapt. To be optimistic in unpleasant situations is such a gift. A gift which few have. And it just so happens that these few that I mention happen to be all of us sitting here right now. We have come to understand there is no fault in the things we cannot control. We have persevered. West has taught me that hope can conquer anything. Even when it feels like the world is throwing too much at us, hope can get us through. If we keep our sights set on accomplishing our objectives, we are bound for a rewarding future. We've got ambition. What more do we need? Take the first step and run as fast as you can. When they say jump, you say how high. And for reference, they took out the ceilings in our school for construction purposes, so if you were to jump, you could get pretty high up there. <laughs> our school is fenced up as construction ensues, and it will soon look a lot different. Downingtown is working to reach its full potential. Our lives are under construction, too. Now, construction is not just what is going to be built. It also consists of removing the outdated or obsolete portions of the whole. It is now time to let go of the parts of our lives that we have outgrown. They took away the parking lots, but that does not mean we should stop driving. It's time to cruise onto somewhere new. In the future, when someone or something prohibits your parking, just keep driving no matter what. We may be hesitant to move on from the only routine we've ever known, but it is not over. We have so much ahead of us. Yes, our time in high school together is over, but we are moving on to bigger dreams. Every step we have taken so far has been for our future, which starts right now. I cannot wait to see what's further up that staircase for each of us. Today is just as much of a beginning as it is an end, and I could make an analogy about turning the page to a new chapter of our lives, but our high school experience has been chronically online. So let's plug in and amplify our frame of mind to gratitude. Be courteous and show mercy on one another. Make the most of every opportunity given to you. Take courage in all aspects of everything. Looking at all of us here is such a captivating view, and it has been an honor to have shared these past years with all of you. I am so proud of all that we have done and all that we are going to do. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, if you would all stand as everyone on stage joins me up at the mic. All right, guys, one last time. Don't be lame. Be loud. Oof. W's up. Oof. Give me a W. w. Give me an E. e. Give me an S. S. Give me a T. T. What's that spell? S. What's that spell? S. What's that spell? S. All right, congratulations, class of 2023. You guys can grab your seats real quick. We are now going to begin our recessional. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Students, we'll enter back through the gym to pick up your diplomas. Congratulations.
go.